Uh, if you take a look at music, and I know there are very few scholars, you know, of late who are saying, no, there's nothing wrong and so on. But even those, and I want to clarify something to start with. The truth is, even if we look at some of the scholars who might have said that, okay, you know what, uh, music, there is certain, uh, you know, it's permissible. They are not talking about the beat of today. Today's beat is definitely excluded. There is no scholar on earth, Muslim scholar, that allows you to listen to Beyonce and Madonna and Michael Jackson and those. That is completely out because number one, it's dirty, it's filthy. The lyrics are horrible, terrible. They encourage you to move your body and to shake your thing, as they say. May Allah forgive us, really. They move, you move your body, you are sexually hyped up. It moves you to a point and a peak where the dirtiness of this music industry has got to such a degree that the Christians and the Jews who are following are also saying it's prohibited, not just the Muslims. So it's a dirty industry. Ask those who are in it. It's filthy. When you hear about music, you hear about how to attract the opposite sex. And it's all about love and all about, you know, your emotions. And so at home, you're not happy when you go to work. You see someone you're working with and you're busy thinking, ooh, the music fits exactly here and so on. Things are happening. People are tampering with our minds. Whereas we have the melody of the Quran, the melodious revelation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has given us something great and grand. We should not substitute the Quran with that as for the punishment that a person may get wallahi that's between them and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's up to allah how he chooses to do what he does but what i need to tell you and what we all need to know is allah is most forgiving most merciful indeed